Hi guys, and welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing a brand new unboxing. Today we're gonna be unboxing the next in the Looney Tunes collection. It is none other than Daffy Duck, one of my favorite characters from Looney Tunes. But well guys, before we get into this, make sure to hit that beautiful red subscribe button. And guys, make sure to hit the bell, so that way YouTube will be able to let you guys know whenever I post something new or whenever I start a new live stream. Uh, and guys, if you like this collection, uh, if you like Daffy Duck, make sure to leave a like down below. And of course guys, make sure to go on over and subscribe to my awesome husband slash cameraman, whose channel is called Cosas Par Engineer. It's a Spanish-speaking channel that does gaming how-tos, reviews, unboxings, lots of cool stuff guys so make sure to go on over and subscribe to him i will have his links down in the description below and well guys with that being said let's go ahead let's get into this Okay guys, and now it's time to check out the book that we got. So let's mosey on down here. Up at the top, we have the title of the collection, Looney Tunes. And guys, it's none other than Daffy Duck this time round. And we have some of the other Looney Tunes in the corner here. And of course, Bugs down in the bottom. And guys, this is from Editorial Soul Noventa and Diario Perfil, right, hun? Uh-huh. That's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Oh, well, let's open this up. There you go. See Daffy there? And yes, in Spanish, he's called Pato Lucas, which is uh, like Lucas Duck. Yeah. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. I guess because there is no translation for Daffy. I don't know. But they could have just used Daffy or not. Yeah, well, well, translators are not known for being great, except me, but well, <laughs> <laughs> for real. And there you, there in the bottom there, you can see my husband's favorite thing, the signature of the character. <laughs> because you say they all look the same. Yeah, most of them. <laughs> And well, here we have the history of Daffy Duck. I always like Daffy, even though he's kind of a jerk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but he's kind of like a lovable jerk. <laughs> yeah. A lovely psychopath. <laughs> fun to make fun of. Is <laughs> a better word. Mm. There you have your favorite Taz down there. Yeah. I wonder if Taz is going to be part of the collection. He has to. I would imagine. I heard that he is. I'm not 100% sure, but apparently he is. Another Taz figure to go with your already, what is it, five? No. <laughs> I have like two or three. <laughs> I have two, then we got one with you. One or two with you, I don't remember. No, you have like two that you got with me. Mm. And then you had like another two, I think, From or three. Before. Yeah. yeah. And this is crazy, the the steps of how the character evolved. Yeah. I mean, at first he really lo does look like a normal duck, and then he turns into... They give him more human attributes. Hmm. And here we have some comics, and more comics. And then here is one of our favorite parts, the how to draw a Daffy Duck. 
What's really cool about this book is that all of the books in this collection has a mixture of things that are great for the entire family, histories of the characters, comics, games for kids, a mixture of everything. This reminds me to the um, Woody Woodpecker cartoons, the very old ones, uh, in which there was always a section with the creator, with Walter Lance, where he will teach you how to draw him. And today, researching a bit on the history of Duffy, we saw an old cartoon where one of the creators, I think, or, or the directors, were on the, on the cartoon with him, but the guy in real life with the cartoon yeah. of Duffy, but the guy was smoking. Yeah. And today will be so unacceptable, right? The guy is smoking on a cartoon for kids. Yeah, but well, I don't know if you know or remember, but remember the Flintstone advertisements for Camel? No, I never saw that. Yeah. Oh. I mean, nowadays it would be taken like, what the heck are you doing? Flintstones advertisements Flintstones. for Camel. We have to check that on YouTube. I never, I had no idea. Wow. And it was in paper. Oh, sorry. It was in paper, uh, like paper comics, like in in the magazines and newspapers, and then it was also on TV. Mm. But what in the nineties? You saw that, or it was older? I think it was older, but I remember. I think I saw it on TV, but I really don't remember. Mm. But yeah, that exists. Hmm. And guys, more uh, games for kids. But yeah, you would be surprised of the type of crazy stuff that you would think there's no way that ha can exist, and it does. Yeah. Do you want to tell them about the muscle uh, campaigns that you saw in the comics when you were a kid? What was his name? Yeah, but that was more acceptable than but it. But it was like, become a magical yeah. muscle man overnight. Charles Atlas. Yeah. The Charles Atlas method by mail. <laughs> right, it was a course by mail. Yeah, in the old comics of DC, but published by the Mexican eh, Novaro, that in, tal, in the 80s were imported here. Yeah. Uh, in, they had very old advertisements. Maybe they were the original advertisements in the magazines because there were even Kool Aid advertisements. Yeah. Right? And they had the Charles Atlas method. I mean, <laughs> with the pictures and everything, like from the 50s. Yeah, well, then I imagine they just translated the entire thing. And the thing also now, the thing will be unacceptable now because it was like a guy who beat him on the beach and stole his girlfriend and the thing was like, don't be a weak, bit of shit, do the Charles Atlas method and then the guy was all muscle and the chick was coming back with him. Uh, but well, very cringy. Yeah. Today all the snowflakes will be born in Twitter <laughs> without rage. <laughs> And well guys, that's the end of that, and now it's time to unbox our brand new Daffy Duck figure, so let's go ahead and let's do that now. guys, so we have the figure out of the plastic and now it's time for an up close look at him. Boom, there he is, Daffy Duck in all his splendor. In all his glory. He. <laughs> <laughs> but going back to the Atlas, mm. the, what was it called, Atlas? Charge Atlas, <laughs> like the Atlas in No Man's Sky. So it was a bit like a... Um, his whole spiel was a bit like those guys that are like, oh, what are they called? Like that other character. Who? Oh. The one you you you've been working on. You know the one. I Elliot Rocher. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Incel. 
Is it, it was a bit like for incels or not? It, 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 yeah. It sounds a bit like that. Yeah, you could tell. I mean, but also because it had that mentality too, because the chick leaves the guy in the advertisement. Yeah. It was all like a photo novel, I don't know how you call it, yeah. right? Because it was with picture and text. The the chick leaves the guy because someone else beat him on, on the beach and the other guy was with more muscle. So it's like the chick was a brainless Dumb. Yeah, right? I mean that was like how they were selling it to you. Right? Yeah. And it's like if you had muscles, the witch won't leave you, right? <laughs> have muscles and I don't know, they won't beat you and and the chick will stay with you, right? Even when she's a piece of shit. But well, <laughs> it was very politically incorrect yeah. by today's standards. Oh, by but, today's standards, I don't think DC would publish it. Yeah, but I think it was cringy even then. I think, because I don't know, I was a kid in the 80s and I was reading those advertisements and I was like... What the this heck? is ridiculous, <laughs> right? But well. But well, back to the figure. What do you think about it? I love it. You think like it? Yeah. It's she looks really cool. With that pose and those eyes. Yeah. And I like how they did his bill all upturned like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. And well guys, you tell me what you guys think about our awesome new Daffy Duck figure and tell us what you think about the crazy ad campaigns. <laughs> tell me down in the comments below and well, I'm gonna put him back down here on the table. Google Charles yeah. Atlas and you will see what we are telling you. <laughs> it's ridiculous, yeah. but well. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. And of course, guys, make sure to hit that beautiful red subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell. So that way YouTube will be able to let you guys know whenever I post something new or whenever I start a new live stream. And of course, guys, make sure to go on over and subscribe to my delightfully sarcastic husband, <laughs> uh, whose channel is called Cosas Parts Nair. It's a Spanish speaking channel that does gaming how to's, reviews, unboxings, lots of cool stuff, guys. So make sure to go on over and subscribe to him. And guys, you can find his links down in the description below. And well, guys, I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye bye.